Hey, how's it going, Spy here, and welcome to a new game called Drive for Survival. It's a new survival game where there's zombies, there's bandits, there's wild animals, and there's even the elements that want to murder us. So we're currently at the tutorial area here where we have to figure out how to gather resources, build stuff. But further into the game, we can get a vehicle, we can repair it, and we get to drive around. So if you would like to see more of this game in the future, make sure to smack that like button. And thanks to the developers for sending me a key to this game. All right, so first First thing first, we have to collect a bunch of stones and a bunch of wood and also a little bit of plant fiber over here. All right, so I'm actually gonna do my best to go through this really quick because I find tutorials a little boring, but this, this thing here is pretty important. I just wanna get out into the world and fight some zombies, get our car repaired. So we gotta open up our backpack and we have to craft a hatchet right here. So let's craft that, a place that will serve you well as a home. Before you build your own. Ooh, so we can also build bases in this game. I think this is just like a uh, starter base kind of thing. Uh, I believe we have to go up here and repair this damaged staircase, it says. But we need a bunch of wood, so let's head back to this tree that I was looking at, smack it down and get some wood. Survival crafting games have to be my favorite, and what the heck just happened? Why'd those all fly away? <laughs> I'm not too sure. Repair. Tutorial. Compass. Open the mailbox right here. And now we have a compass to show us landmarks on the bottom there. That's cool. Okay, before we do more of the tutorial, let's head up here and see what there is in here. There has to be some stuff we can use for survival, right? Yeah, look. <gasps> Your backpack was expanded. We also have dog food. You can't be too picky in the apocalypse. Ooh, I like sardines though, sardines are great. And a big bank vault where we can store some stuff. So let's go back into this menu here and get a campfire built. Oh wait, how, how does this work? So we got two campfires to build from. I'm gonna build a simple one right here. Cook juicy steak, will do. Wait, from now on, you will not be alone. Uh oh guys, we have zombies heading towards us. The game gave us a starter gun here, but we have to go down and take these zombies out. Uh, I don't know how good this rifle is, but we should be able to find better ones in the future. Hey, you zombie jerks, get over here. Actually, this is a rifle, right? I can just shoot them from really far away, right? Should be able to. Is that hitting them? I have no clue. Let's just pop. Take that, you jerks. Okay, these zombies are kind of creepy. Your backpack was expanded. I guess we like leveled up. Boom and bang. Take that, you zombie jerks. Now we gotta go over to oh, repair the helicopter. There it is. Oh, that's cool. So repair. You can now travel around the world using the helicopter. Let's go to the forest zone and get surviving, right? Yeah. The forest. Enjoy the freshness of nature. Established 1967. Wow, that forest is very young. <laughs> Okay, here we are. This is, I think, putting us out into the world. We're no longer in the tutorial. Okay, I guess it, it, it is still the tutorial. Raw materials for repairing your car. All right, let's head down and let's go find these parts and stuff. Let's get our gun out just in case. I don't know what's gonna be over here. That's, an, that's a nail gun. There's my gun. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a bear. That's a bear. Are these dangerous? Oh man, it's gonna kill me. No. Go away, you jerk. A bear just comes out of nowhere. Okay, well, we got animal tag. What do we use animal tags for? I have no clue. Let's just keep going. I gotta watch out for bears. I kind of just walked right into that one. Take some berries so we have some energy. If, wait, is, what is that? What is that? Is that a bunny? That is a wolf. That's a wolf. It looked like a rabbit from the back. <laughs> Get out of here while you guys try to kill me. Oh, we have a lot of ammo. We have a giant billboard. I think if we hop over this and go over here, there should be a highway, right? There's a highway. And we got a bunch of old vehicles. Wait, no, no, no. Not another one. Are you serious? All these wild animals just want to murder me. Take that, you jerk. Are they zombie animals? Their eyes are glowing. Okay, well, let's scavenge these cars. Engine. We have some parts and some scrap metal, I think. Anything in the back? Nope. What about here? Ooh, ammo box. Let's check the front here. We have more resources. Grab that stuff. I'm gonna need a lot. Oh, an ambulance. There has to be some medical stuff in here. Yep. Wow. 
Something sees me. It's a wolf. Go. There's a lot of wolves. Are you serious? Holy man. Can I get like up on this RV? Please. I don't want to die. <laughs> I'm going to die. Oh, there's so many of them. Just shoot them. There's like five. There's like four. Okay. Take it. Take them out. Take them out. Oh my. It's more of like a wilderness survival than the zombie survival. But maybe we just haven't found the zombies yet. Take that. Oh, are you serious? There's so many animals. Oh, there's a bear. Where am I going? Oh, there's wolves all behind me. No. Holy, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Go. There's so many. Oh, there's like two bears. <laughs> what am I doing? The forest is death. <gasps> oh, wow. We just found like a little, what is this? A motel? Oh, but we got zombies in here. What am I looking for? Duct tape and zip ties. Check that. Jerk. Ooh, it's so dark. Well, that guy's dead. I hear more zombies. Okay, well, let's just open this cash register. Uh, we got bullets. A pistol. <gasps> what? Whoa. Is this way better than our rifle? Probably. Okay, we're gonna test it out. Okay, uh, it takes way more shots than the rifle. But that's pretty cool. Do I hear a bear? I think I hear a bear. Hop up on this car. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna clear this motel and I'm gonna see if I could sleep in one of the bedrooms. That's probably a horrible idea, but it's so dark. It's creepy out here. Let's go all the way back here. Open this door. Uh, hello? Anyone in here? Think it's good. I found a jerry can with fuel. Let's sleep for, I guess, eight hours. That might be a little too much, but I hear zombies. Okay, we're good. Now it's nice and bright. Uh, there's a dead guy here. Let's go into this uh, gas station or shop, whatever this is. Uh, we got some canned food. I might as well eat some of this because my inventory is full. What was that? Is that a bear? I think the bear is fighting some zombies. Hello? There's the bear. Take him out. Holy. That bear just did not want to die. <laughs> Sardines. But no zip ties or duct tape. Now let's head down here to the gas station. There might be something we're looking for in here, hopefully. Any zombies? Yep, I hear one. That's not a zombie, that's a wolf. It just bit me. Oh, they're inside. Take this. Got it. Ah, uh, what's in the crate? Zip ties. There's a car battery. <gasps> a crossbow? We're finding all the weapons today. That's so cool. But we still need some zip ties and duct tape. Where do I, where do I get those? Oh, we got another guy with arrows on him. I hear a wolf. There he is! Get out of here, you jerk! Crossbow! Uh... Is he... He died. <laughs> he fell over and died. I didn't get my arrow back, though. Okay, well, I'm gonna go down the road a little bit. I think there's some more houses over there. What is that? Oh! Whoa! Came out of nowhere! Anything of use in the trunk, though. This is a police car. Okay, well, we got some ammo that I can't grab because I want to use the bow. And it looks like we have a logging camp right here. Maybe I can find my zip ties and stuff in here. Anything in this one? Nope. Wait. Oh, are those people? Are those nice people? Is that a zombie? That's a bandit. Those are bandits. They're shooting at me. Are you serious? Are you guys serious right now with your lives? <laughs> They're shooting me. Oh, man. They do damage. Of course they do. They have guns. And I should probably heal a little bit. I'm going to shoot this guy off a bow. Whoa. Okay. This thing is pretty good. What takes them out like instantly? There's a bunch more bandits up here, though. I hear a guy. He's right here. I missed. Where'd that even go? I have no clue. I ran out of arrows. Uh, he's going to hit me with a pipe, though. Holy, how many shots does it take? There we go. Ooh, money. We got a crowbar. There's a couple more guys up over here, though. That one has a gun. Take him out. Take this. Got him. There we go. I think that's all for the enemies. Is there anything in the back? We got a jerry can. I already have a jerry can. Don't know what that was. Let's go into this house here. <gasps> Zip dies and duct tape. We just need one more duct tape. Uh, we do have like a little truck shop up here, which might have what we're looking for. Maybe. Or this RV here. Nope. What about in the back of the police car? Zip ties, of course. Let's explore this. Hello? Oh, we got, a, we got bears. We got a lot of bears. I'm gonna run out of ammo. Oh my gosh, there's three behind me, aren't there? Yep. Oh, my weapon's backpack expanded. Okay, we're gonna head back over here and grab <laughs> my crossbow stuff. There it is. Where are those bear jerks? I think they're gone. Hop in the back of the truck. There's our duct tape. 
All right, let's head back home and get our car repaired. Thanks to the functional helipad, new survivors are slowly coming. Your car has finally been transported to your new home. Unfortunately, it is damaged and needs to be repaired. Let's do it. All right, so here it is, our car. This thing is a beast. Is it even classified as a car? It looks like a monster truck. Okay, engine is damaged. Let's repair the car fully. And that's good. I don't think it has any fuel. Yep, zero liters of fuel. Let's grab one of our jerry cans. This one's 100%. Fill this bad boy all the way up. How do I, how do, I do this? Oh, there we go. That only filled it up 33%. Okay, well, I'm going to keep a jerry can. What? I was going to keep that jerry can, but I tossed it out of my car and probably broke something. Our car is fixed. This thing is awesome. Let's take it for a quick little rip. How do I do it? F? There we go. Oh, man. Oh, I'm going to drive this around a little bit. There's probably some stuff we could find in this little starter area. Safe place? Outpost? I think outpost is the word. Yeah, we're hitting some sick jumps. Is there first person? Oh, this is so cool. We can't interact with, like, the radio and stuff inside, but that would be a really cool feature in the future if that's possible. We found some gas pumps, and one of them looks like it's not damaged. Okay, park this thing here. Ooh, fill up our jerry can. It works. Fill that jerry can right up. Fill up our car as much as possible. 74%. I think we can do a little more. 100%. And we have a little bit of fuel in our jerry can and like 0.7% in this gas pump. Well, there it is. Muscle car. This thing is sweet. It probably has a ton of storage too. So I'm just taking this thing for a little joyride around the outpost here. But I think I'm going to leave this episode off here. If you would like to see more of this game and exploration in the outside world using our car. That was sweet, by the way. Smack that like button. Let me know down below. And thanks for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to hit a tree. I just knocked a tree over.